Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to Matthew chapter 13 as we continue to look at the parables of Jesus. This time we're going to look at verse number 44. And the Bible says, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth. And for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. If you can imagine a man that is just out in the field, maybe taking a hike or something, and as he's hiking, he sees something. He's not sure what it was, but it catches his eye. And he, as he walks closer to this object, it becomes clearer and clearer what it is it's the corner of something you know sticking out of the ground he goes over he starts to dig a little bit and he uncovers a treasure chest and as he does that he realizes that whole area is just filled with buried treasure and so he quickly hides it again buries it again he goes he 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 does his it, you know, spends all this time researching who owns the land so he can buy it from him. How much does it cost? He, and he literally sold everything he had. He sold his car. He sold his house. He sold, he sold everything. Uh, you know, it, all, all of his belong had a, had a garage sale, 50% off everything. I mean, you know, he just, everything must go liquidation sale. He sold everything so that he can have enough money to purchase this field. And Imagine as he approached, you know, the, the, uh, the owner of the field, who he probably, you know, owns lots of other land, and it's like, why do you want that little corner? Uh, you know, why, why do you want that field? I mean, it's, it's, um, there's no buildings on it. There's no structures. There's not even any fruit trees on it. Uh, you know, it's just a little bit off of the, of the hiking trail. There's not, there's not much there, you know, and, and it's just, don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's my business. I just, I just want, it's special to me. I want that field. You know, probably trying to contain his excitement so that he doesn't give too much away, you know, because he knows that that little field, it may not look like much, you know, to the average viewer, to the average person just just looking, you know, from the outside. But he knows about that treasure that's going to make him filthy rich. He knows all about that buried gold. You know, he he knows about that. Jesus said. Basically, was what, what that parable was. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like that. It's like a man who found treasure in a field, sold everything he had just to buy that field so he can get the treasure. Because there is treasure there that nobody else can see. That's the kingdom of heaven. Right now, the kingdom of heaven is a treasure that you and I know about. But most people don't. And we have the opportunity to invest in that kingdom so we can gain treasure in the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says so. The Bible says there, there, there's treasure that we can uh, lay up in heaven that you know people can't see down here. It's very, very different from the treasure here on earth. The treasure here on earth is corruptible. It's temporary. But whatever treasures we lay up in heaven, and that, that is the kingdom of heaven, okay, that's eternal. And, you know, the Bible says, remember, well, remember the song, right? Seek ye first the, what? The church of God? No. The, the, the house of God? The, the, the ordinances of God? No. Seek ye first the kingdom of of God, which remember is, is the same thing as the kingdom of heaven. So seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. We need to be investing as much as we possibly can in the kingdom that nobody else can see. Nobody else can understand the importance and the value of the kingdom of heaven because they can't see it. They don't know that it's there, but we do. At least we're supposed to. We as believers, as citizens of this kingdom, we know 
about this opportunity. We know about this kingdom. And so we should sell everything we have, figuratively, of course, okay? Well, maybe literally, if God leads you to do it. I mean, the early church, some, some of the early believers, they did just that. They sold, literally sold everything. And they, and they went, you know, full-time ministry for the Lord and went and just spread the gospel all their lives. Uh, but, <clears throat> but anyway, figuratively, we ought to sell everything we have here because nothing else that we have on this temporary earth is of any real value compared to that hidden treasure in that field. We need to buy that field. And let me tell you, the kingdom of heaven, Jesus said, is ex it's exactly like that parable. Here is an opportunity for us to have eternal treasure in this, in this kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. That, of course, yeah, n the world can't see it. So therefore, they can't see the value in it. So they don't care. But that doesn't negate that it exists, that it's there, and the opportunity is there. And so seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Lay up treasures and in your investment in what's really important, the kingdom of heaven, winning souls, serving God, because nothing else on this earth matters. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.